since I was about six. Is that wrong? Okay, Except Jane doesn't have a lot. I had him on this morning. She did. Oh, did <laughs> I had my jeans and my boots. Okay, Bob. Well, here we go. Speak up, America. So speak yeah. up, Marjo. Speak <laughs> up, Jane. <laughs> this is your big chance. Well, this show is not really for us to speak up. We're here to let the American public speak up. So, you know, we're going to naturally be enticing people, you know, to say, yeah, you can talk. Because most people say, oh, on television, can I really say what I want to mean, you know? But um, what we want the American public to hear is what the other Americans have to say. Jane, there's a bit of a flap going on now between uh, ABC and NBC, and how is all that going to be resolved? You mean CBS and NBC? CBS, excuse me. Yes. CBS and NBC. Um, at this point, I'm working for both. I am still doing the sports show. I will be with the NFL today this fall, and I am doing Speak Up America. So then what's, what's all the problem? Well, they think that I'll, I'll be tired on Sundays when we get ready to do the football games, but, you know, I can't get tired when I'm watching football, so there'll be no problem. So you'll be in both places? Yes. Very good. And with two salaries, that couldn't, you couldn't improve on that. Oh, it's <laughs> kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Marjo, what is the status then of the program right now? Uh, you know, you've, it's been a kind of on-off sort of thing. Uh, no, it's never been an on-off sort of thing. We did two shows and we were picked up immediately. Um, there's been but a lot of controversy about the show. Well, but some preemptions, or at least in our market, preemptions, maybe not uh, all around. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know about that in, oh. in your market. Uh, well, we've only had two shows. Are you saying there were some preemptions on the two shows that were on? I think so. Huh, because I didn't know about that. As a matter of fact, they were going to preempt us for the Pennsylvania primaries. And at the last minute, uh, Freddie Silverman himself gave the order not to preempt Speak Up America. Uh, but the show, uh, the new show coming on uh, this season, was well, actually, we're starting early too. We're starting August 1st, uh, Friday nights. Uh, it's 9 o'clock in California, New York. I don't know what it is in your market. But the uh, show will have a lot more in it. Uh, we're tying into a cube in Columbus, Ohio, uh, where we can get the opinions of 30,000 people uh, immediately on any issue that we're talking about, or right then at that moment, because a portion of the show is live. Uh, there will be a lot of shorter segments about controversial subjects, things that people want to talk about, or things that are interesting. Uh, there will be news-oriented subjects, things that affect us. So there really will be a broader variety, I think, uh, on the new shows that are coming up. We'll have a hot seat. We have uh, Magic Johnson is going to be doing a uh, segment with kids, getting their opinions, what they think about what's going on in the country. There are people who seem to think, or they suspicion, that the people are fed lines and scripts and ideas. It's not true. They just people. That's the, a very interesting point because people can be interesting. And a lot of people say, "Well, how do you find people to say what they say?" Uh, there's never been a primetime television show uh, that has gone out and really found people that want to talk about something. And you give a person a microphone. Some take a little bit more prodding than others, but generally speaking, a lot of them can speak very eloquently, and they can even say things that a lot of uh, the so-called uh, officials or the so-called uh, experts should maybe even hear. Everybody in the country is aware of the fact that when you get into a group, you start discussing issues. You start discussing issues whether it be, you know, that your cake was in the oven and it fell yesterday, or whether it be a decision that Pre President Carter made. And you do that in your community groups, you do that on your lunch hour. People do not need to be fed what they think. They can be fed what is happening and then, you know, true, we may go up and say, okay, this is what we want to talk about. Then we say, what is your opinion? We don't walk up to anyone and say, we want to hear if you're for whatever, because automatically you've put, put in a positive attitude. And they may have been against it, but because you've said you're for it, they may take a different um, outlook at it. We want to know what do you think about, and we will give you a subject, but that's as far as it goes. We never, ever give anybody lines. Do you ever do more than one take? Uh, if the person starts choking oh, sure. in the middle of it, sure, sure. why not? Yeah, or a person will say something. A lot of times I've had someone say something when the camera stops and say, oh, I wish I could have said, I could have put it better. They think of a, an analogy or something. There's nothing wrong and with we'll that. And we'll put the camera back on and let them say it that way. You know. Right, that's valid. That's oh, sure. Valid. 
Yeah. But we're not trying to make people sound one way that they're not at all. I mean, the idea of the show is to give people a podium to use and to speak up and uh, say what they have to say. Some people are going to like what people have to say. That's why the show is so controversial, because some people get on, they say things that offend a certain group uh, or a certain organization, and they'll be very outraged then at Speak Up America. But that's not really the American way. I mean, this show is like trying to get people to get involved again and really uh, care about what's going on in America. Marjo, supposing somebody says something that might be libelous, what do you do? Uh, I mean, says something on the air that might be libelous? Well, if they said something that was really libelous, uh, it's their, uh, you know, they're saying it. I think there is uh, certain rules for that. I'm not really too familiar with that. But I think, again, if they're saying it, uh, the network is certainly not libelous. We're not putting the words in their mouth. And it seemed like they would be the one that would get sued uh, just because they said it on television. If they said it, if it was on tape or that, and it was something, you know, of course, that was really libelous, obviously it, we wouldn't air that. The idea is to speak up America, not create uh, lawsuits or slander anybody. There's no way that I think one of the questions that you might be thinking of in the back of your mind when you ask something like that is, uh, are we going to censor something because we might not think that the American public would want to hear that. We don't really uh, want to censor anything because we might not agree with it or anything like that. Sure, the networks have their censorship boards, and if you're you know, using words that we cannot put on TV, sure, we will not put that on. But as far as censoring it because of your opinion, we will not do that either. Jane, uh, I'm not the first person who's ever said this to you, but you are just astonishingly beautiful. You Thank really you. are. Uh, and you can't help that. I mean, that's just <laughs> the way you are. It's all because of my mom and my dad. <laughs> sure. But has it been ever a hindrance in advancing your career? More times than not, yes. Many, many times I've gone on an interview to get a job in the entertainment business. I've been in this business now for 10 years. And uh, people say, you know, you, you're too pretty or uh, you're too tall, it's, you're, you're too whatever, you know, and things that I can absolutely do nothing about. Um, and so many times they have a, a stereotype attitude of what I'm supposed to look like when I walk in the door. And then when I don't, it automatically says, no, well, you know, she's not good because that's not what I thought she looked like. And um, I've lost maybe, I'd say, 60% of acting roles and things like that because people didn't expect me to look the way that I do. What would you do? Would you get angry or, or obviously frustrated? Well, yes, I do many times, uh, but I, I don't get angry anymore. I've had to deal with this almost all of my life, and you know, I, I'm me, you know, I, I don't try and be anybody else. I like the person that I am, and to me, being a nice person is more important than being a good-looking person. And so I just try and get along with everybody and forget about all that other stuff. It really doesn't matter to me. And in a sense, Marjo, you have a similar problem in that people still want to go back to Marjo the Evangelist, don't they, sometimes? Well, sure, but that's not a problem. That's just something they identify with. Uh, I, got, I learned my lesson on that. I went on tour for a movie I did called Earthquake with uh, Charlton Heston. As a matter of fact, I think this happened in Dallas-Fort Worth. We were on television. And uh, we came out and got in the limousine. And I said, Chuck, as we all call him, I said, Chuck, don't you get tired of constantly having to talk about the chariot race? Uh, and being asked about Ben-Hur and playing Moses and all that. He goes, yes, I, every interview I get asked it. He said, but people care. And that's his hook into the business. And I'm resigned to telling it because they're asking the question. It means they're genuinely interested and they want to know. And the same thing for me. People will always ask me about religion. And I will always talk about it. And I'll always uh, tell them what they want to know because the very fact that they're asking means it's something they want to know. They care about me or my life. And so I'm in the public life. Uh, I have an obligation, really. Uh, to tell them. And in a way, and it helps me in the work that I do uh, as far as the background and that's so why I just draw from the positive. I don't see it as a handicap or a problem. It's been fun talking with both of you and we hope that everybody speaks up a lot on America. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> I think they will. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Good.